Maya Rusnik and Joshua Hagler are drifters. They're also artists, accomplished ones. Much of their work has been published and embraced by major collectors. They're also an item. Oh my god, what if this is our drifter? <laughs> what if this is us? That one's obviously a drifter. That's us. <laughs> the two first met at an art show. Josh asked his friend Matt to introduce him, being far too nervous to do so himself. Matt said, Maya Rusnik, Josh Hagler. Maya smiled. Butterflies were in their stomachs. Maya soon has a show in Paris, paving the couple's way across the pond. The two will leave behind all their earthly possessions in America and journey through Europe, creating work every day, all of which will mold into a lovely book to be titled Drift. When we travel and when we start making work for the book, it'll feel very natural um, for me because it's almost like the only intention that we'll have will be to um, be very present with what's happening around us. It'll be kind of meditative, like a ritual in and of itself. By having that goal to make work every single day, it'll also make us really like collapse into our environment. One thing I don't think we've talked about so far is like maybe the element of call and response a little bit that might oh, turn okay. up in there, you know? Like seeing what you're doing and you seeing what I'm doing and I could imagine that that would create certain responses. I would like it to feel so, um, I don't know, just um, juicy and human and, and easy. <laughs> and free. And free, yeah. There will be exhibitions. Maya's opening in Paris is on October 5th. Josh and Maya's appearance at a Hamburg festival called Nat. Then there is a Syrian refugee camp in Jordan where they will volunteer with Maya's collector, Patch Adams. Not everything that we make is gonna be a drawing or a painting. It could be something yeah. made with materials that we find there and we can just document it. And yeah, yeah, I mean, I like what, if, that a lot. what if you wanted to give something to somebody? Mm. You know, I mean, like, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. if they're gonna be helping us with studio space or something right, like right, that. Right, right, like, I like that very much. Then it's like drifting out in multiple directions at mm -hmm. once, you know? You know, like we don't have to hoard every single thing we make. Their art, they say, will be free of constraints. Their future, free to experience modest human expression. And I think of something drifting through space. When I think of it, it just seems like it just kind of like catches onto things and then it keeps rolling. This is what November and December look like. A two week stay at a space in Brussels, an art studio in Copenhagen gifted to them for the month, a refugee camp in Austria where Maya stayed as a child, Maya's family in Bosnia. It's interesting how much people want to know where our next home is. While it is extremely exciting to take off and do this, it's a little bit scary, I have to admit. The truth is we don't know where we're going to go when we're done with this trip. And in a way, um, we are going to use this trip um, as an opportunity to document our search. We're giving up our apartments. We're giving up our, our studios. And uh, I think when we're trying to figure out how to make this all happen, like we're basically going to try to create a new home for ourselves and that's it, this whole commitment to this project is really I think one big leap of faith. Which is why we decided to call the book Drift. Josh and Maya are immensely talented and to each their own we can only predict that when the two put their heads together we will see something truly surprising. So we are both super excited to work on this project together and with your help um, we can actually make this book. We're already thanking you for your contribution and your generosity and for your support. If you love art books, seriously, you're going to like this. Yeah.